All right, sip of water time before we talk about this. Okay. <sighs> wow. What is wrong? What's wrong? What is wrong? You ever see the the you ever like uh, what what what's a what's a good analogy here? Um, you ever like play a game? You're doing so well, and then all of a sudden you get to like the boss level, and you can just never get over that boss level. Because that's how I feel. In regards to this team right now. I feel like that they are just not getting over these humps now. They were they were cruising through. And now all of a sudden they hit a roadblock. And it's like they're stuck in the city. And they just can't get out. They can't. They can't get out. And it's so frustrating, man. On all aspects of the diamond. They're just not making winning plays. They look so lifeless out there. And tonight was one of those prime examples, man. Where I expected Zach Wheeler was going to be out there dominating on the mound. Okay, you give up a home run to start things off to Aaron Judge. I'm not cool with it, but okay. Second inning comes, though, and he just crumbles. Crumbles. And then the fifth inning, man, what does he do? He crumbles. I don't really want to go here, and I'm not really going to stick on this as you know too, too much. But my gosh, Rob Thompson, I don't think deserves heat today. The heat does deserve to go on the players. The players did not step up. And it's Zach Wheeler's job to execute. He just did not have it today. He did not have it today at all whatsoever. I expected Rob to have some more fire to him. But man, oh man. We can't hit with runners in scoring position. We're giving up runs left and right. We're making mistakes on the bases. And we're just not making winning plays. It's just, oh my gosh. Like, I, I, oh man. <laughs> it, it's, it's hard. It's hard. It's really hard. It, it, it ain't easy, bro. It it it, re- it it really hasn't been so easy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I you know the one thing the the one thing that I will say that I that that I was taking away from every single game is that this team was struggling with runners in scoring position. Tonight they did it again. Not really surprising to be honest with you, because <laughs> they suck. They suck with runners in scoring position. They've become a laughing stock. Really. It's not even funny now. It's been going on for far too long. If Dave doesn't make a move by tomorrow, what's there to say? What else is there to say, man? Really. It's kind of become comical at this point. You know, Kyle Schwarber starts off the game with a walk. And he puts up a really good at-bat. And you know what Trey Turner does? Sees the first pitch. Grounds into a 5-4-3 double play. Phillies actually are still in the game in the bottom of the sixth. Turner led off the inning with a walk. Harper strikes out. Bohm somehow gets on with an infield single. Marsh actually swings at a bad pitch, not going to lie. I'm not going to let that off the hook, bro. He swings at a bad pitch. It was heading towards the dirt. It was hit out to right field, past the first baseman, and he gets an RBI single. But you know what happens next? First pitch. First. JT grounds into a double play and ends the inning. 
I'm looking at Kevin Long right now, and I'm telling him something's not right. This Bryson Stott thing, do you remember at the very beginning of the season, Kevin Long said that he wants Bryson Stott to swing at the first pitch more? It is clear that Bryson Stott has lost his confidence. I'm looking at Kevin Long right now, and I'm honestly saying that something's not right with him either. I don't think that that's easy to shrug off. I don't think that... I I really think that we have to be looking in other eyes and, and in other aspects as well. I can't even talk right now because I am really frustrated. Okay, this is podcaster JJ Mode. And I said I'm going to cut this, and I am. This is going to be uploaded as a separate podcast because the whole world needs to see this right now. They do. Kevin Long has really done a terrible job now with the Batman. I'm sick of watching JT uppercut at pitches. Bryce Harper looks like he's lost. And I'm not saying that that's on Kevin Long, but there is something clear to me that is just not correct with when these guys are in the box. Their approach is to just swing at the first pitch when they're ever, whenever there's a runner in scoring position. That's not what you're supposed to do. Do you realize that Stott was the best two-strike hitter last year? You know what happened? Kevin Long said, you know, we want you to swing at the first pitch more and do something that you're actually really good at and make that into a weakness of yours. I think Kevin Long's on the hot seat and the eyes shouldn't be on Rob Thompson. It should be on Kevin Long right now. And while Rob has sucked, Rob has not been good. That's not on Rob with the way that their approach is at the plate. It's on the players and it's on Kevin Long. And I'm sick and tired of it. And something has to be said. As far as the pitching goes... Zach Wheeler laid an egg today. Clear. It's on Zach that he did not have his stuff. Zach didn't have his stuff. And you know what? In that spot, in in, in that fifth inning, would I have pulled him? I could look in both directions and tell you yes and tell you no. Because the bullpen... What has the bullpen really done for you lately? Not really much. The only reliable guy is Jeff Hoffman. That's the only reliable guy. So part of me was like, you know what? Leave Zach out there because do I really want to go to Gregory Soto? Do I really want to go to Junior Marte? I mean, Estevez, he's going to be the ninth inning guy. And clearly, that was not a ninth inning situation. So, I would have kept Wheeler in from that aspect. But I also know that Zach Wheeler was not having a good day today. And I seen him get out of jams. He didn't have his stuff, though. But why even go to the bullpen? Because it, it, it's it's a double-edged sword. You're in a trap either way. You're going to lose. Because you're not getting the run support. And you're also just not getting good production From anybody. No one. I'm tired of putting Garrett Stubbs out there for the eighth inning whenever there's a blowout. Major League Baseball has to do something about this. That over that that's like the cherry on top for me. That's not even like the biggest problem. But that does not make me feel good. I I, I hate these position player games. It's taken away from the product. It sucks. It's waving the white flag and it's making it look like a little league game. I can't stand it. It ticks me off. Marte has to go. I've seen enough from Junior Marte. 
Gregory Soto, kiss him goodbye. But the problem is, is that who else can step up? You don't have any options. <laughs> you don't. You have no options. None. You're screwed. You're screwed. Unless Dombrowski makes a move tomorrow. And Dave. Dave, Dave, Dave. Last thing I want to say is this. It is 9.46 p.m. Eastern Time on the East Coast. You have until 6 p.m. tomorrow. You made some nice moves. I'm okay with the Austin Hayes move. I like the Estevez move. But now we need firepower. Go get me Luis Robert and go get me another bona fide good bullpen arm because clearly, clearly they need another one. I'm mad at this team as a whole because sometimes they look like they're a little league team. They play down to their opponents and they just look so flat. So flat on every single aspect of the diamond. You know what else tipped me off today? Brandon Marsh made a play out in right field. I think it was Rice that had a two-run triple or whatever. He thought it was going to go out. And Marsh clearly did not read the ball perfectly. It was still within... It was This game was still within reach. You got to do a better job at reading where the ball is going to land, dude. And you give up a two-run triple. It wasn't to Rice. It was to the catcher, Austin Wells. That's who it was. It was to Austin Wells. Everything that this team is going through right now, it has sucked. And it's not just one game. It's not just two games. This has been going on ever since the A series. They're falling flat on their back. And their situational hitting is terrible. They look completely just out of gas and outmatched. And then next time they show up to the park, tomorrow they're going to win. See, that's the thing, is that they, they is that they lose game ones, and then they bounce back for game twos, and you think that they have a chance to win the series, and then game three happens, and what do you know? It's the same thing as Monday night. It's the same thing as the Friday night in the series start, man. I'm not a Negadolfian, but my gosh, you got to call a spade a spade. And it's been three weeks. Three. I'm usually one of the last people standing on a ship when it comes to this team. Rob is about ready to speak. Should we even listen to what he has to say? Because clearly, I don't really care right now. You know, he said the other day, too, now that we're on Rob Thompson, this is where I'll get on to Rob. I'll say this. Austin Hayes, he said that he could see him as an everyday player, that that he can see him as an everyday player. No. 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 The reason why Dombrowski got Austin Hayes is because Brandon Marsh couldn't hit lefties. That's why Dombrowski got him. Not so that he can play every day. Dave has to go out there and get another outfielder. That's on Dave. But coming out of his mouth, Austin can't play every day. Why do you think Baltimore traded him? That's why. That's why. So. And I know what Rob's going to say, too. Oh, we lost our mojo today. You know, we just have to go back out there tomorrow and hope that the bats wake up and just get mellow, yada, yada, yada. Rob, that doesn't work right now. I'm sorry to tell you it doesn't work right now. You got to hold your players accountable when they when they're not doing well. And I thought that you did that going into Saturday's game after Friday's atrocious outing. But then they just went back to their old ways. And I got to look at Rob from that perspective. It's not his fault that the players aren't executing. 
it's Kevin Long's fault that the players are doing such a bad job with their situational hitting. It's gotten to that point now. It's on the players, but I'm looking at the coaches too. So, I I, I want to hear your comments. I am going to play that right now. Um, I don't know why I kept that one comment up there for so long. I apologize. But, yeah. All right. I'm going to read what y'all have to say. I'm Dave. What's up, David? Citizens Bank Park lost its aura for sure. Get a diaper, says David. Uh, I'm finally forgetting Luis Robert Jr. It's time for a game changer. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Marsh has fallen off on defense. They need a platoon guy with Brandon Marsh. But Rojas can't play every day. Hayes can't play every day. They need an outfielder that can help them with their offense. And if Dave says now that this team is fine the way it is and they should snap out of it, while I agree in theory, I need my GM, my president of baseball operations, to be aggressive out there because they have the assets. Why do we hold on to these assets, guys? Because when we're in a window to go win right now, that is when you put all the chips and all the marbles on the table. And Dave, if you don't do that, I'm going to hold you accountable. That's what I do. Take accountability for your actions, Dave. And Rob. And the whole ball club. All right. I think I still have some things on my chest. I'm just disgusted. I I I I I, I want to throw up. I do. I want to throw up. When I'm watching this team as a fan, it's not fun. I love calling the games. They're cool. But I'd be lying to you if I tell you I'm having a blast doing this. I'm not. Their bullpen stinks. They're starting rotation for the most part. It's just not been so good. Something's up with Zach Wheeler. I'll say this again. If Zach is hurt, and Brian said this tonight, if Zach is hurt, put him on the I.L. If he's pitching, he's pitching. They waited too long to put Ranger on the I.L. I said no to the Garrett Crochet move. If something is wrong with Zach Wheeler... And that's why he's been struggling. And if that's why Ranger has been struggling, I'm fine with getting, with getting Garrett Crochet. I'm fine with it. I said before to keep a little peek of that door open. If Zach's hurt, if he's not 100% and he has to go on the injured list, then yes, you got to go get Garrett Crochet. I'm at that point now. They have the assets. They still have Miller. They still have Kaba. They still have Justin Crawford. They have the pieces. You gotta. Oh my gosh. You gotta. Put this team in a position to succeed and stop wetting the bed. That's all I ask. Let's get to the people. I'm done rambling. We were playing better when guys were injured. Not hungry, I guess, anymore. They had that next man up mentality. You're not wrong about that. I believe fact that the majority of the play call is being deleted, not reaching the Phillies. I believe better advantage for the guys if the contributors should work closely with the Phillies. Lately on offense, Harper gives you a home run every three games and nothing in between. It's not just that. It's the fact that they're not providing situational hitting like they should be. They're not executing at the plate. When there's runners over at first and second, their mentality is to swing at the first pitch. Even if it's a slider, that's a way. And a foot off the plate. Take a darn pitch. (sighs) 
Castellanos should be at the top of the order. Stop hitting home runs and play small ball. Absolutely. Ken Rosenthal is in my chat. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Appreciate it. Burner account. All right. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I wish I could yell. I wish I could stream. I wish I could scream more. I'm tired. I did a triple header today. I'm pretty tired. And I'm going to stop. And get off. I love you all. I still got 72 people on here watching. Y'all are so loyal on here, man. Thank you. Thank you for staying up with me. And for putting up with this. I love you all to death. You guys are the best fans in the entire world. And I mean that. Philly Freak Nation all the way. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. Adios. Good night. Lalatov. Ill fills, I guess. <laughs>